Let's now see how the second version should be defined very quickly. And for the second version, I want to introduce to you the uh, logical operator called conjunction, like and, A and D. Okay, let's see how we can do it. And then I want to also watch out a uh, very subtle syntactic difference I'm making over here. So you can see over here, I'm trying to use basically if, else if, else if, right? And then, so this, uh, so first of all, this is considered as a single if statement. The single if statement contains the beginning if, and also as many else if as you like, and then the else part is only a single, only one if statement. On the other hand, for the second version, I'm going to use a combination of the logical operator and also a number of independence uh, if statement to define the solution. Let me show you. And then I'm, I'm going to explain the exact logical reasoning behind next week. But for now, let's get the syntax right and get an intuition for the syntax. All right, let's now go back to uh, Package Explorer. Let me close both of them. Okay, and then I'm just going to create another great app. Okay, so I'm going to say right click on this great app one. And you want to say uh, copy and then right click on the console apps package and then you can say paste. Okay, and now I'm going to say grid app two. That's okay, right? Say okay over here. All right, and then if you double click on grid app two, so at the moment it's simply identical to grid app one, of course. But what we want to do is rather than calling version number one, we want to call version number two. That's what we want to do. And of course, you wouldn't compile because we haven't defined version number two just yet, have we? No, we haven't. And let me clear the console over here. Let me simply go to uh, the grade class over here. And then you will see that this is a uh, grade one over here, right? And what I will do is I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to copy and paste. So really to show you exactly the difference I'm trying to make. So go to the grade class over here. And then I want you to copy the entire uh, get letter grade one. So copy and then new line and then you're going to paste. Uh, sorry, can I find a paste over here? There we go. All right. So now it's complaining because we got two methods of the same name, uh, grade one, right? So now just change it to grade two. All right. So now these two methods are completely identical. And also you can see from the problems, uh, tag over here, we have no, uh, errors. If you got warning that you can just discard for now in principle. All right, let's now go back to the grade over here. Let me show you exactly what I wanted to modify. First of all, I don't really want to have any else if over here. So now you can think about this is an a single if statements. This is another independence if statement here, right? I want to create another independent if statement over here. And then I got another independent if statement here, another one. So basically I got rid of all the else over here, over here, and then uh, over here. Uh, for this one here, this one here, here is a little bit special. Let me do the following. I will simply just uh, select this and then com uh, control forward slash or command forward slash. Put it, put this into comment just for now. Okay, I'm going to show it to you, uh, show to you how to do it Okay, in a moment. Okay, so now the difference is, let me just uh, mention to you again, if you go to these two uh, version over here, this very first version, there is only a single if statement that's this long over here. And the single if statement contains a uh, if and also multiple else if and also the ending else, only a single one. But now that in the second version, we got if, 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 we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and also nine eventually. So we got nine different if statement that are independent of each other. However, as you will learn in the lecture, if you simply put things like this without doing anything further, we will have some logical error over here. We will. Okay. You can, uh, I'm going to explain this next time. But with this version here, give me, uh, do me a favor. Try right away and try to see what if the marks is simply just A plus. Okay. Why don't I try it together with you? Go to here. Okay. And then run. If I say 90. I should only expect to see A plus over here. However, I see actually D over here. Something wrong. Something that's wrong. Exactly how this is wrong, we're going to see uh, next week.
All right, just keep that in mind. All right. So there's still a single letter grade that's printed out. However, the letter grade is simply just wrong. All right. If I didn't do the following, so now how can I fix it? Okay, let me go back to the grade over here. The way to fix it is I need to be very careful about the range. I want to make sure for every independence uh, if statement over here, each one of them should have some non-overlapping condition. Okay, let me show you. So the way to do it is simply specify the precise range about the marks. Okay, so over here I can say uh, if the marks, okay, let me write it slightly differently. I can say the marks should be 90 less than or equal to uh, the marks and and also the marks is less than or equal to 100 you can think about mathematically what would you do you will simply say uh 90 less than or equal to marks less than or equal to 100 that's how you would do it in math however uh in java there is simply not possible to put a variable in the middle and also be combined with two occurrences of the less than or equal to relational operator it's not allowed right so what you're going to do is well i want to say this condition is true that marks is larger than or equal to 90 and also marks is less than or equal to 100 right uh try to see uh if this makes sense to you and then this will be something that will be useful for your lab number two okay uh exercise later but uh i'm gonna explain this maybe next time right i'm just running out of time so i'm just going to uh, uh do the rest all right so this will be the a plus range and let me copy this what will be the range for a the range for A would be, well, basically, it would be larger than or equal to 80. However, it would be strictly less than 90, right? You can only get A plus if you are larger than or equal to 90, right? You can see this is larger than or equal to, I mean, the marks is larger than or equal to 90. And this one here is less than. So we are making sure they don't really overlap. Well, I'll visualize this for you next week. But for now, you may just want to convince yourself. All the uh, all the nine ranges I'm specifying over here, they're no, all no, uh, they are disjoint. They are non-overlapping. All right, and the rest will be very similar. But I just gotta copy and paste carefully. So now copy that. And what about B plus? It will be between uh, seventy five to eighty. All right, should be strictly less than eighty. Otherwise, you would have get an A. And then you would be, uh, let's say for B, you would be from uh, 70 to, and also strictly less than 75. And also for C plus, it would be from uh, over here, 65 and strictly less than 70, right? You can see this of uh, increments over here, 90 to 80, 80 to 75, and then etc. And then let's do another one over here. So this will be for C, so that should be 60, and then, so this will be uh, 65, all right? And then uh, this will be uh, for D+, plus. so this will be uh, 55, and also strictly less than 60. And for D, it will be uh, basically uh, 50, uh, sorry, 50, just be careful. It'll be from 50 to uh, 55, right? That'll, that'll be there for the D. Finally, how do we deal with the F, right? Let me just copy this one here. Let me leave this uh, as a trace from the, the fact that we are adapting from version number one. I'll leave that as a trace for you, okay? So let's see over here, sorry. Let me uh, paste this one over here. So that's for the, D. what about F, right? We want to specify the range for F. Basically, it will be larger than or equal to zero. That's a minimum, right? You cannot get neg uh, negative mark, can you? And then it will be strictly less than 50, which means from zero until, for example, 49. That will be the range for uh, F. All right, everything still compiles. Okay, again, let me remind you again. Over here, this is a single if statement for version number one. And over here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine if statement over here for version number two. They are equivalents, which I will show you next week. And but what you want to know is if you didn't have this particular conjunction over here to really specify the not, um, uh, the non destroying or non overlap uh, non overlapping range, you will get to the logical error. Remember, we put ninety or ninety five. You actually got a letter grade D, right? Remember what I illustrated to you, right? So now let's uh, make sure this works, okay? And then I'll did I'll do the J unit test maybe also next week as well. All right, so for now, just want to get some console application works and also your model actually works as well. All right, so now let's go back to uh, great application two. 
And now I can simply uh, just make sure I'm running the right class. Okay, great, app two. Let me do that. Okay, and now uh, let me maximize the console over here. Okay, if I say 90, A plus, very good. If I get 89, oh, actually, let me rerun again, right? Every time you can only calculate one mark. 89, too bad it's not an A plus, right? It's an A. Let's do, for example, if you got 50, then you're lucky you passed. On the other hand, if you got 49, too bad you fell, right? So that's uh, exactly the uh, uh, the way it should work. All right, so uh, I think uh, we, we got enough for this week, uh, just about two hours for the uh, videos for this week. So I think uh, for the last, the final part, let me recap very quickly for you for this week. We talk about the arithmetic sequence to really reinforce what we learned from week number one about the separation of concern, about model, console apps, and also JUnit test. So that's the first part. Second part, we introduced the, one of the most important learning outcomes for this course, namely how to use debugger. Step over, step into, and step out. Please review that conceptually and also make sure you can do that on Eclipse. And the final small part here that we, uh, we are doing here, we are introducing to you something not just a single sequential composition or sequential execution. We have some branching structure by using conditionals. And you may have seen something similar to this in your previous programming language, either JavaScript or maybe C Sharp or Python. So this intuitively shouldn't be too bad for you. However, I do need to uh, talk about in detail about the logical reasoning behind, like a what, why version one and version two over here are completely equivalent. And then why you can simply get rid of the else if and make it just if in version two. So that'll be something we'll discuss next week.